uh, the state of Maine. I absolutely love this state and it might sound crazy, but it's got nothing to do with the ocean or the lobster. In fact, I've never even tried lobster. Don't hate me, Mainers, I'm sorry, but it's got everything to do with the rugged mountains, the stunning views, and the giant piles of moosh you seem to step around every five seconds when you're hiking here. Back in 2014, shortly after I graduated high school, I hauled my ass up to Maine to backpack one of my first solo trips ever on the 40-ish, because we don't really know exactly how long it is, mile Grafton Loop Trail. This hike absolutely blew me away and it definitely challenged the shit out of me. And honestly, I've been itching to get back there ever since. Fortunately, the stars finally aligned on Memorial Day weekend, so Flossie and I decided to send it despite a weather forecast that predicted a 100% chance of rain for the second half of our hike. I figured, eh, you know, after our Northville Placid Trail experience last year, this can't be that bad, right? Right? Well, uh, yeah, it was pretty f***ing hard, but I don't want to spoil the story too much. Sit back, relax, grab some roasted chili-flavored pistachios, and enjoy the story of us sending Maine's Grafton Loop Trail. All right, Floss Boss, tell the good people what's going on. Well, I'm back in the great state of Maine. Maine, let's go. Feels good to be home. Let's go. First backpacking trip, Grafton Loop Notch. Loop Trail. Grafton Loop voice crack. <laughs> yep. As we so eloquently explained there, the Grafton Loop Trail is what we are doing. Had a little bit of a shit show getting parking. It's a loop and there are two spots where you can start basically. There's, there's like two trailheads. And we went to the first one and it was literally full. We parked on the side of the road and then almost immediately got bitched out by one of the locals for parking on the side of the road and he kind of threatened us with a tow potentially. Yo. So we were like, nah. Sorry, but if you're watching this dude, you're kind of a dink. Yeah, no that guy he's a dick honestly but that's okay because we just drove another eight miles down the road found a parking spot here at like the grafton notch area memorial weekend shout out to everybody who has served in the military certainly those who made the ultimate sacrifice we'll definitely be thinking about that this weekend and uh, definitely gonna be thinking about some moose as well because hopefully since we're in maine uh we'll see a moose either way we're about to go up old spec 4,000 footer on the at as well for a little bit here All right, so the Grafton Loop Trail is 40 miles. We are going to be doing it in three days. Very late start today. It's like after one o'clock. Kind of had a little bit of a late late night. Flossie barely slept last night. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm um, actually feeling pretty good. For, Whoa. <laughs> you know, the two hours of sleep I got. I didn't, I slept a little bit more than that, but not, not a ton but uh, I think we're gonna be okay. Plan today is not to go super hard. I think we're gonna do either this 10 miles to a campsite or 13. We're not sure. We're just gonna see how we feel. All right, we made it to the summit of Old Speck, 4,000 footer here in Maine. Uh, tallest mountain on this whole trail, actually. And uh, check out this fire tower. Look at that freaking thing. You can see, instead of like the actual stairs like a lot of these things have, it's just like a straight up ladder. Your, your mom's gonna be scared to watch you go up this. Mom, should I sketch you out? What do you think of the view? Can't beat it, baby. How's the uh, hangover treating you? <laughs> well, I'm getting, I'm hitting a wall a little bit. <laughs> Hanging in there, eh? Oh yeah. We only got how many more freaking miles? <laughs> yeah, a little, a little sketchy, but we did it. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> You're not getting very far. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a lot of miles to go. <laughs> But the words are very scared And it's a quiet ride home And it's spoken from your eyes But the words are very scared And it's a quiet ride home Bodies like leaves Move the best I would Cause I'm not smoke You're melting to me down by snow Our bodies 
probably don't need my hat like that. <sighs> there we go. Sunday River Whitecap is where we are right now. Um, I did this trail like five, six years ago, 2014. And this spot right here was like my favorite spot. I took a couple videos, they're really cringy, so I gotta watch them before I promise that I'll put them in the video. But if they're funny and not too cringy, roll them. Man, those were some cringy videos. <laughs> Ooh, wish we could spend more time up here, but it's getting late already. It's like after six. So we're gonna get to camp. Sergeant Brook tent site, that's where we're staying. There's some folks just back there who are going there too. Uh, anyway, see you at camp. And just like that, we're at camp. Sergeant Brook tent site. We're both exhausted. Not even so much because of the hike, mostly just because of freaking lack of sleep, as we've talked about. Going insane, no, I'm good. What's on the menu? Little north side, go straight to your thighs. <laughs> the same fucking thing we always eat, basically. <laughs> A Ziploc broke, what the f That is a sad wrap, but it'll do. Mm. Uh, bedtime, good night, see you in the morning. Hopefully the rain stays off as long as possible, but we're definitely gonna get some rain tomorrow, so hopefully it won't be a repeat of the NPT, we'll see. Peace. <laughs> so f***ing dumb. <laughs> Good morning. Pretty big day planned today. I don't even know exactly how far. I'm trying to find my phone. Where's gut hook? We are looking at like 17 to 19 miles today. And probably some rain tonight, which is not super fun. But uh, it is what it is. We're only 10 miles into this this loop so we got to put in some work at some point oh I hate doing this stuff oh yeah I got any peanut butter on the stash uh no the stash looks good actually All smash right. the like button if you think the stash looks good I'm a new man baby new tell you man. what got about nine hours of sleep some coffee in me. It's gonna be a good day. All packed up, ready to go. Flossie's a little bit behind here, so I'm gonna go ahead of him. Start of day two, here we go. I'm a long, long way from home. It's a long, long road I'm on. And the angels hear me cry. Lots of blowdowns on this trail. It's all good. That's just the way it goes on these rugged, rugged main trails. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun to get through. Ugh, me. Jesus. Oh, somebody dropped their water bottle. How about that? Five-ish miles done, I think. Flossy still hasn't caught up. I guess he's taking his time or whatever, and I didn't really stop until now anyway, so I'm just gonna wait for him uh, at this spot, and then we just gotta cross this bridge, walk on the road for like half a mile, and then we start the climb up Puzzle freaking Mountain. Check these out. Chili roasted pistachios. Not normally one to buy pistachios. I love them, they're delicious, but uh, they're just so expensive. Like this was $10 at Walmart of all places. I gotta say though, these are phenomenal chili roasted pistachios holy shit. that is some good shit right there all right Flossie is taking too long so I don't feel like waiting for him I'm gonna keep going um, in the meantime 0.6 mile road walk is what I have to do
All right, road walk is done. Wasn't very long, 0.6 miles, but I'm um, still managed to see four needles uh, on the side of the road. Not, not what you wanna see ever. Needles on the side of the road, nah, not, I should probably stop talking about it. Anyways, Puzzle Mountain is what I'm about to climb up. Just as I was about to leave, look who showed up. What'd it do? In all his glory. How'd you, uh, how'd you like those needles on the side of the road? Um, it's pretty gross. <laughs> top of Puzzle Mountain and it uh, looks like the rain is finally starting, unfortunately. Uh, really pretty up here, but fog's rolling in. Uh, I think I might have to put the camera away now. All right, got the phone out. Kind of started to rain for a few minutes and then stop. It's still like wicked cold. I'm like shivering right now. past half mile or so has been following this huge logged out area. I really don't know anything about logging, but it seems like it was probably done a few years ago because there's other this sh starting to grow back again. Uh, that's my analysis. I also know that it looks pretty sick. All right, welcome to my tent. It is damp in here, it is dirty, but I am dry and I am warm, which is good because uh, very cold and rainy today. I've said it before, I can deal with cold and I can deal with rain, but when it's cold and it's rainy at the same time, I mean, I can deal with it, but it sucks. Uh, but it's okay because this is our last night. It's almost eight o'clock right now, so I'm probably just gonna basically be in here the rest of the night, make some tea, listen to some Jocko, and fall the f asleep. Don't know when the rain's gonna stop. I have a feeling it's not gonna stop by the morning, but we only have like seven and a half miles, I think, to get back to the car tomorrow, so we can deal with that. We can deal with that. I guess I guess it's the end of this day. Uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I'm sure you're pumped. Uh, or maybe not, but you're gonna find out anyway in about two seconds. <laughs> oh hey, good morning. Uh, still in this tent. I know it just seemed like a second for you, but it's been a lot of hours for me. It's I don't even want to say how late in the morning it is because it'll make us look really lazy. Let me show you around the campsite a little bit here since didn't really show anything last night. There's Flossie's tent there. I think Flossie's out taking a graft in Craft and poop trail right now. We have to hike over the bald pates today. Uh, we link back up with the AT and then hike the bald pates. One of them anyways, I forget which one has like a really nice view, but it also has some pretty exposed, like steep rocky sections. So getting down that when it's wet might be a little bit interesting to say the least. Finally packed up here, Flossie's still working at it. Seven and a half miles and then, what are we thinking, Chinese buffet? Chinese buffet. That's, our, that's gonna be our yes. post, uh, our post hike meal. Flossie's been bugging me to go to a Chinese buffet for weeks I'm now, so. in the hell. <laughs> and it's like, and it's from. toothpaste right Oh, there. do I have toothpaste on my <laughs> Oh wow, oh yeah, look at that. You get to see me in all my glory. It's Memorial Day today. Shout out to everybody who served and Certainly those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Time to hike. Climbing pretty steadily here, probably about halfway up East Baldpate or whatever. Hell and yeah. Flossie's about to demonstrate how to go up some rung ladders here. It's arm, and then leg, and then <laughs> other arm, other leg. Here we go. All right, let's see what you got. 
Nice. All right, we are just below the summit of East Baldpate. It's raining again, so back on the cell phone here. Of course, the last time we were up here, it was gorgeous on our through hike. Not so much right now. Yeah, this kind of sucks. <laughs> but we have like five miles, I think, before I get back to the car, where I can change into my nice, dry, warm sweatpants. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff where I don't like to show my mom, so mom, maybe just skip this part. Steep, wet rocks, it's not the safest thing in the world. You guys can't even see this, can you? Doesn't really do it justice there, but that was freaking sketch. We're not at the bottom of it, but almost. Oh man, this is not, don't do this at home. Don't film yourself and walk down slippery rocks. All right, finally a little bit lower here. Woo, what a way to end this trip. I mean, we're not done yet. We still got a couple miles, but hiking in the rain. It's so funny because last, last year we went the entire summer. It wasn't until the NPT, the literally our last hike of the year that we uh, finally had to hike in some rain. And this year, our first one, first backpacking trip anyways. It's just continued on into this year. Yeah, pretty much. We picked up right where we left off on the NPT. However, I will say this has been much better to deal with than it was on the NPT because it's just a shorter hike. If we had to continue on for like a number of more days now and not just be a couple miles from the car, now that would be a, a different story, I think. Boom. 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 Ha, 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 ha.